example four. Find the side lengths of the triangle. They tell us this side is equal to that side. How do we know? They give us the little hash marks. So we set this up as 3x plus 2 is equal to 4x minus 7. Subtract 3x from each side. 2 equals x minus 7. Add 7 to each side. x equals 9. 3x plus 2. 3 times 9 is 27. And 2 is this side is 29. 4 times 9 is 36 minus 7. That's also 29, which makes sense because these two sides are equal. And the third side is 2x plus 5. 2 times 9 is 18, plus 5 is 23. Find the side lengths of triangle JKL. Again, this side length is equal to that side length, so my equation is 4x minus 10.7 has the same measure as 2x plus 6.3. Subtract 2x from each side. 2x minus 10.7 is equal to 6.3. Add 10.7 to each side. That's going to give me 2x is equal to 17. So x equals 8.5. And substitute to find the side lengths. If two sides of a triangle are not congruent, the larger angle is opposite the longer side. So, for example, in triangle ABC, B is the largest angle, so AC is going to be the longest side. And again, if two angles of the triangle are not congruent, then the longer side is across from the larger angle. Here we have angle X, angle Y, angle Z. X, Y has to be the longest side because it is across from the largest angle. How do we apply this? Write the angles in order from smallest to largest. This is the smallest side, so angle F is the smallest. It is less than angle H because FG is next biggest, and the biggest angle is going to be angle G. So angle F is smallest. Angle G is largest. Write the sides in order from shortest to longest. Well, it would be easier if we knew the measure of this angle. 60 plus 72 is 132. 180 minus 132 is 48. Am I correct? So 
So let me check my addition. 130. Okay, 130. Ah, uh, but this is only 120. 120 and 60 is 180, so I am correct with my addition. So the shortest side is across from the smallest angle. So segment QP is shortest. QR is next. And PR is longest. What would that look like in math? Segment QP is less than segment QR is less than segment PR. And there we go. Second page of notes. Day one is done.